Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Last week I had done a plan with me um, for this spread here for this week and I used all Plan So Cute artwork. Plan So Cute is on Etsy and they have beautiful, beautiful, super cute digitals that you can download to your computer and then print at home and cut on your electronic cutting machine such as a Silhouette or a Cricut. So they are absolutely fantastic. I love their designs. They're just so cute, which makes for a perfect name like Plan So Cute. <laughs> I just think it's perfect. Um, so they offer digital items, but they don't offer, offer physical items. So they don't offer sticker sheets that can be mailed directly to your home. They are something that you would have to make yourself. So um, I am, I had already mentioned last week, but I'll mention again, just in case you missed it. Um, I am going to be offering Plan So Cute physical items. So I'm really, really excited about it. I will be adding them to my Lisa Love Studio website under Planning Love or Planner Love. Um, so you will be able to buy their adorable designs such as these. I do have some stamping in this planner, but all of this is Plan So Cute. Um, this is Connie. Her name's Connie and just uh, so cute. This little frog, his name is Sappy. <laughs> it's just so cute. Anyway, um, so I will be offering um, the printed um, physical versions of these stickers. So I am so excited. So what I have done um, in my natural um, wanting to organize everything manner <laughs> is I have um, taken their digital files and reformatted them um, to my own style and my own liking. And what that means is I will be offering sticker sheets with this very, very cute artwork um, in a four by six format. So here's an example of some that I will be adding to my online store on Friday at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. So they look like this. They're four by six size. Um, so cute. So I've um, restructured all of these. So th this is all the designs that are going to go in by Friday. There may even be more. I'm not sure. But for sure, these are the ones that are going in by Friday. Um, and so as I mentioned, um, they are four by six. So they're a nice size for you to take with you on the go. And so initially, um, you know, I fell in love with this artwork. I love pastels. They are totally my jam. Um, so the artwork just fits right in with my planning style. And it coordinates really pretty, too, with um, my Planners Anonymous subscription boxes. So I just, I just really like it. So, um, but I lost my train of thought. Whoops. Anyway, um, four by six so that it's nice and small. And then what I had done when I started um, purchasing their digitals, I had no intention of offering physical products at that time. And I was like, okay, I love these stickers, but I want them formatted so I can put them into a uh, onto discs and organize them the way I like. And so I had created um, this little album for myself. And you can see I have print and cut so many of their designs. Um, they are just so super cute. And then so I formatted them for four by six and then I punched them on a disc punch. I categorized them and even used their um, bow tabs, label tabs um, to divide up my sections. And all of that was really great. So now that I am going to be offering the sticker sheets to you, um, I have done the same. They are going to come four by six like this so that you can make the same type of book that I did. Um, they're going to have a left margin, just as you see here, so that you can decide whether or not you want to disc punch them or maybe you want to spiral bind them. Maybe you want to use your We Are Memory Keepers cinch. I mean, I don't know, but whatever you would like, I have this left hand um, margin here for you, okay? So these, for example, right now I have them in a four by six photo box, so they fit perfect in there. If you want to put them like that into your planner card, um, that'll work. Or you can put them on discs like I did. Or you could even take um, a four by six a photo album. These are really inexpensive on Amazon and I used to buy them to store my Planners Anonymous kits um, like you see here 
when they had the smaller sticker sheets. Now they've gone to five by seven, and so now I store my Planners Anonymous in five by seven, seven albums, but I used to store them in these cute little four by six albums. And I think these will also be really cute to house these because you can just slip it on in to these sleeves, and if you want, you can organize your stickers this way as well. Um, put them in sleeves like this and take them with you um, on the go. Personally, I like the um, the disc punched because say for example, I'm say, let's just pretend this is my budget planner and I'm gonna go through um, and do my budget while I'm at my sister's house. So what I may wanna do is just pop these in here like this, pop a sheet in there for my budget and then take it with me on the go like that. So I like the versatility of using um, a disc punch system for your sticker collection. So I just wanted to run that by you, just kind of offer some different um, options for you. You will be able to purchase these sticker sheets punched or unpunched. And I also wanted to note that if you do order them punched, um, they will come punched, not um, punched with a Happy Planner punch, but punched with an Arc punch. And it just has a, a little bit of a shorter mushroom um, shape and I like that better because it doesn't go so deep into your page so I will I will be using an arc punch for any of them that want to have your stickers arrived pre-punched and then I will also have um, available in the store I will also have these covers as well so I'll have two different options for the covers that will fit really nicely over your four by six sticker collection so I'll have that um, and then as time goes on and if everything goes well, then I will also um, add other things to the shop, like maybe pencil cases that I make here in my studio or other ideas where coffee cups, maybe that are personalized with your name. Uh, just, you know, cute things that I love um, and um, I will share them with you. And if you love them too, then you will have an opportunity to purchase them. One other thing I wanted to mention is when you do finish your sticker sheet, I would recommend that you keep it because um, you can add these blank sticker release papers to the back of your album. That way, if you ever need to consolidate a sticker sheet or if you have ever have some stickers that you also want to take on the go that are not necessarily um, Lisa Love Studio stickers, you can put them on here. So these are nice, thick, and reusable. And so I recommend that you recycle your empty sticker sheets. Um, once you've done using all your stickers, you recycle them. So that's another tip that I wanted to give. And I think that's it. So please mark your planner for um, the release of these sticker sheets that are gonna happen this Friday. Um, Cinco de Mayo, <laughs> um, the 5th of May at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. And I hope you will hop on to lisalovestudio.com and pick your sticker sheets that you would like. And I think you're just gonna love them. They are just gonna be so cute in your planner. They're just gonna make it look adorable. So I am really, really, really excited about this. And I hope you are too. And I will talk to you very, very soon. Bye-bye.